All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, we're going to look at an introduction to differential equations. Um, differential equations is, is one of the most powerful fields in all of mathematics, especially for people who are in engineering or any kind of applied mathematics. Um, and one of the things that you want to get about it is that uh, you're going to see differential equations a lot more. If you're inside of this class, you're going to probably see it uh, quite a lot. And just having an understanding of what they are can be quite beneficial to your understanding of math overall. So let's start out with kind of an idea. Let's suppose that we had two functions, y1 equals 3x minus 4 and y2 equals 3x plus 7. Let's say we had those two functions. Now what we want to notice is that both functions have the same derivative. y1 prime is going to equal 3 and y2 prime is going to equal 3. What we can say is, is we can say, well, I can actually think of a lot of different functions that would have the same derivative. Anything, uh, any linear function where the slope is equal to 3 is going to have the same derivative, right? That slope is 3, so we can imagine other ones. Like, for example, y3 equals 3x plus 4, or uh, y4 equals 3x plus 12, okay? And the so whole idea here is, is like, what if what we did was we grouped together all of these functions based upon their derivative. So if we ask this question, what if we group together a bunch of functions based upon the derivative, what we get is we get the idea of a differential equation. So a differential equation is an equation that represents an entire family of functions. And by family, we're referring to a group of functions that share a derivative. So for example, this thing here, dy dx is equal to three is a differential equation. It has a derivative dy dx, and then that is equal to some other function. So that's a differential equation. And what it does is it represents an entire group of, of functions. Basically what it'll do is, like we have inside of our group, if we imagine, okay, we have, right, y1 equals 3x minus seven, y2 equals 3x plus four, anything that actually has any function that has a slope of three, okay? So we might even be able to write this as y n equals 3x plus some b for a b belonging to any real number, if we're looking at some real numbers. So basically what we're looking at is we're looking at just a bunch of functions, right, that all share, okay, the same derivative. And so what we'll do is we'll bunch all of those functions together by their differential equation. And this is a way of representing those particular that particular set or family of functions. So the solution to a differential equation is a function that will make the differential equation true. So let's take an example, and this is going to be some of like the variety of what we get for differential equations. This one actually has a second derivative. So let's say dy d squared y dx squared minus dy dx minus 6y is equal to 0. And it has a solution of y equals e to the 3x. Okay? So if I look at this, if I take, I first find the derivative, right, okay, so with where I have the y, I'm going to plug in e to the 3x, and then I'm going to take the derivative of y, so y prime, or which is dy dx, is going to equal 3e to the 3x, and then y double prime, which is our d squared y dx squared, okay, is going to equal 9e to the 3x. So when I plug that in, what I get is I get 9, I'm going to plug it into the differential equation is what I mean. I get 9e to the 3x, okay, minus, and then our dy dx is minus 3e to the 3x, minus 6e to the 3x, and what you see there is that that's going to equal 0. So e to the 3x, this function, is in fact a solution to the differential equation because when I take its second derivative and I subtract its first derivative, okay, and then subtract 6 times the function itself, what I end up with getting back is I end up getting back zero, okay? And that's what we mean about the solution to a differential equation. When I plug in um, the function plus whatever derivatives that I need to plug in, right? We treat these like variables. They're like variables, okay? Except they're connected to our original function, okay? When we plug those in, what we end up getting is we end up getting a true statement, right? That is true now. And so that's what we mean by the solution to a differential equation. Let's take a look at another example. So suppose we take this one. We've now got 3y prime, so the derivative of y, plus 2 times the function y equals 6x squared minus 30x minus 8. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask, is y equals three x squared minus six x plus five a solution to the differential equation above, right? And so what we wanna do is we're gonna plug in our value for y, okay, into this y here, and then its derivative into that value of y prime there, okay? So we'll first find y prime. So y prime is gonna equal six x minus six. And so now what we'll do is we'll get that three times six x minus six plus two times, and now here's y, right, y, two times three x squared minus six x plus five is gonna equal 18 x minus 18 plus six x squared minus 12 x plus 10. This will then equal six x squared minus, uh, minus six x minus eight. So the answer is if we look here, six x squared minus six x minus eight, that's not the same. Those two are not the same. So y is not the solution to the differential equation. So the challenge of differential equations is not determining if a function is a solution. It is finding solutions given the differential equation. That's kind of like the whole point. We're gonna see this show up in a whole lot of places. It really shows up a lot inside of physics. It'll show up a lot inside of um, uh, any kind of engineering class you're taking, statics, dynamics, uh, anything where you've got any kind of movement or motion because it turns out that when we characterize systems, we characterize them in terms of their differential equations, right? Uh, in fact, I oftentimes tell my, my students in my differential equations class that if they took physics after they took differential equations, physics would be relatively easy because you'd see that all of physics is just basically differential equations, right? So let's take a look at what we mean by this. Let's say, for example, I have dy dx equals 7x plus 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to, this is a really simple version of a differential equation, but it's going to demonstrate the basic process. Now, what I know is I have dy dx is equal to 7x plus 4, and I want to say find y, which is the solution to the differential equation. And I'm going to use DE to represent differential equation. Okay, well, if I have a derivative and I want to find a, the function that gave me that derivative, what do I do? I got to integrate, right? That's the fundamental theorem of calculus. So if I want to go out and find out what y is, I'm just going to integrate both sides. Okay, in fact, what I'll do is I'll do something like this. I'm going to take a dy and that's going to equal then 7x plus 4 dx. That's basically kind of what, what's gonna happen. We're gonna learn a lot more about these in just a little bit. So then I take the integral dy is gonna equal the integral of seven x plus four dx. Done, okay? So then y is just gonna equal, and this will end up being seven over two x squared plus four x plus c. And that's my solution, okay? Go ahead and check it. Pause the video, go ahead and check to see if this is the solution. What you'll find is, yeah, it is. Like if you go out and you take the derivative of y, you're gonna get seven x plus four. That's it. Now what we wanna notice here is, is that we have this unknown constant. Just like any time when we take an indefinite integral, right, we have an unknown constant. And that's what's gonna allow us to have that whole family of functions, okay? The unknown constant allows the family of functions because that constant can be anything. And it's gonna actually allow us to talk about, okay, it's gonna allow us to talk about uh, some very important concepts when it comes to differential equations, namely the general solution and a particular solution. So the function y equals seven halves x squared plus four x plus c is called the general solution to the differential equation. This is because y will make the differential equation true no matter what value of c we choose. 
If we select a particular value of c for our solution, like y equals 7 halves x squared plus 4x plus 9, then this is called a particular solution. So on the one hand, we have the very generalized solution, which applies to every single solution to the differential equation. And it has a constant c. Or sometimes it might actually have two constants c, and we'll see some things like that in just a little bit. But if we actually have some values for that constant or those constants, then what we end up having is called a particular solution. Okay, And so we want to differentiate between when we're being asked for a general solution and when we're being asked for a particular solution. Now to find the particular solution to a differential equation, we need a differential equation and an initial condition. Um, so for example, if we have dy dx equals 3x minus 7, and we know that y of 0 equals 5, we can actually now find what we call our particular solution. Okay, Again, this particular solution. So we take the integral. Well, we're going to set this up as dy equals 3x minus 7 dx. Then we'll take an, the integral of both sides, the integral of dy equals the integral of 3x minus 7 dx, Okay, which is going to end up equaling 3 halves x squared minus 7x plus c. Well, that's going to be our general solution. So here's our general. And what we're going to want to do with that is we're going to want to then plug in 0 and uh, set that equal to 5 to find c. So we'll have 3 halves times 0 squared minus 7 times 0 plus c equals 5. right? And that's because of this initial condition that y of 0 equals 5. And so consequently, what we end up getting is we end up getting that c equals 5. So in this case, we found a single solution, our particular solution. And our particular solution is, is that y of x is going to equal 3 halves x squared minus 7x plus 5. And that is now our particular solution. What we want to notice here is to find the particular solution to a differential equation. What we're going to have to do is we'll find the general solution right, and then use the initial condition in order to solve for our coefficient c or for our constant c. Now, not all differential equations are going to be of the form dy dx equals g of xy. Some involve higher derivatives. For example, y triple prime minus 6y prime plus 2y equals 6 sine x. What that requires, it requires a third derivative, right? The third derivative of y, y triple prime, plus also the first derivative and the function itself, right? In addition to some other function of x here that is not exactly what y is. So what we see here is, is that we are going to get um, times in which what we're going to have to do is going to have to find higher and higher and higher levels of derivatives all right, in order to actually solve differential equations, which is fine. All right? What we want is we want some way to actually be able to refer to these. Okay? So the highest derivative of the differential equation is called the order of the differential equation. Okay, so in this case, in our example, this is third order. It's third order, and it's third order because what we're looking at is the highest value of the derivative is the third derivative, right? Y, y cubed. Or not y cubed, but y to the third. Y triple prime, excuse me. So an example here, let's say, for example, I have y to the fifth, my uh, y quintuple prime, or y to the five, y five prime, minus six y four prime, plus y triple prime sine x, plus three y equals zero. This is a fifth order differential equation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna classify our differential equations by their order. We'll have some other ways to classify them, but at the moment right now, we would just want to see that the highest uh, derivative that we take is actually going to classify um, the order of our differential equation. So this completes our video about uh, introduction to differential equations. In this video, we talked about a few things. One, we talked about what is a differential equation. We talked about what is a solution, both general and particular solutions. We talked about what we might call an initial value problem. And so an initial value problem 
is a differential equation along with an initial we talked about how to verify that we have a solution and we talked about the order of a differential equation in our next video what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about a specific class of differential equations called separable differential equations and how we go about solving them